Did you bring the money? Don't bug me with the money. I got to get drunk now. What flipped him? I don't know. Here, take it. Bring me anything. Bring me everything. Creme the mint. Everything you got. Okay. You wouldn't believe it. Well, we should break out and tell me. All right, I'll tell you tomorrow, right after I am telling the police. But Mushnick didn't come to the police. If he had, that might have been the finish of the unhappy story. It was not. in selling a half interest in this place, huh? <laughs> Mr. Mushnick, we talked to the committee, and they said we could use your file on the float. And guess what? We're going to feature Audrey Jr. Right on top. Boy, Can't you just picture it? I can picture it. Oh, won't the people just eat it up? Eat up the people. And we're going to have the big part of it open, so she can sit in it. Oh. The queen, with her crown and scepter. She'll be so cute. Oh, you could just eat her up. Eat up the girls. talk about that plant is that a nice subject for to talk the plant the plant is great it's it's four times bigger than it was yesterday i saw i saw how come the plant is now so big oh, i don't know but look at all them people out there we only been open a half hour we already done 70 dollars worth of business 85 now look seymour you gave this plant a fancy name audrey jr but i want to know right now what do just people call it well it's a cross between a Butterworth and a Venus flytrap. Venus flytrap? And what are the habits of this Venus flytrap? Well, the book says it eats insects. It eats them three times in its life, and then it's full grown. Excellent. And how many times is this one eat? Well, once or twice. You don't remember? Well, this is kind of an unusual type flytrap. That is a possibility. It may never eat again. I don't see how it could get any bigger. Then you think it don't need any more flies? Yeah. Oh, my tooth is just killing me. All right, excellent. You run along to the dentist. I'll take care of things here. Thanks, boss. <gasps> Gravis, we've got to order more flowers. Tons of them. I'm making lots of money. Sit down. 
Shut up and open up. Uh-huh. Ah. Oh, oh. Does that hurt? Yeah. Good, you haven't felt anything yet. Uh-huh. It's just it over here. Seymour, who is the dentist here, you or me? I'll find that tooth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Look at that stalagmite. But, but don't worry, it's going to be an easy one, Seymour. I won't even use Novocaine. Oh, you broke the mirror in my mouth. Well, don't tell me about it, stupid. Just swallow it. Uh, all right, yes. Let's see now, Seymour. See, I'll have this one and this one and that one, and I have to have this one, it's Seymour. There's only one, two. Seymour, who is the dentist here, you or me? Are you practicing dentistry without a license? No. All right. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, oh, shh. Seymour, oh. Seymour, oh. don't oh. be mad. Will you look at that, Seymour? I didn't know you were an elk. Look. You know, I can't afford an assistant. So I get this ready instant mix. It doesn't last very long, but it tastes good. Mmm. All right, Seymour. Oh, stay away from me. Seymour. Uh -huh. You're trying to kill me. A duel. Aha. Poof. <laughs> Is this Dr. Farb's office? Uh, just a minute. <clears throat> oh, yes. <laughs> I see it is. <laughs> uh, you, you can come in now. <laughs> My name is Wilberforce. Wilberforce what? Just... Wilberforce. My first name is Wilbur. My last name is Force. <laughs> I don't have a middle name. Well, do you have an appointment, maybe? No, but you were very highly recommended to me by one of your patients, a Mrs. Esheva. I do a lot of undertaking for her relatives. <laughs> well, as you can see, I have a customer now, and I'm all booked up for the rest of the day, so you'll have to come back tomorrow. Oh, I couldn't do that. I have three or four abscesses, a touch of pyorrhea, nine or ten cavities, I lost my pivot tooth, and I'm in terrible pain. <laughs> well, I, I can't help you today. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll just wait outside. <laughs> the patient came to me with a large hole in his abdomen. <laughs> caused by a fire poker used on him by his wife. <laughs> he almost bled to death and gangrene had set in. I didn't give him much of a chance. There were other complications. <laughs> the man had cancer, tuberculosis, leprosy, and a touch of the grip. <laughs> I decided to operate. My, my patient just left. You, you could come in now. Oh, goody. <laughs> I didn't see the other man leave. Well, he went out the back door. You know, most people don't like to go to the dentist, but I rather enjoy it myself, don't you? I mean, there's such, there's a real feeling of growth, of, of <laughs> progress when that, that old drill goes in. I mean, I'd almost rather go to the dentist than anywhere, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> now, no Novocaine. It dulls the senses. <laughs> this is gonna hurt you more than it is me. Oh, goody, goody, here it comes. <laughs> oh, my God, don't stop now! Well, I made a lot of holes, and now I gotta fill it up with this here silver stuff. Well, aren't you gonna pull any? Well, uh... Oh, go on. Well, to your mouth. Well, 
Dr. Favre, it's been quite an afternoon. I can truly say I've never enjoyed myself so much. I'll recommend you to all my friends. Thank you.